ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my little workshop. I'm just doing a bit of a comparison today. Uh, I'm currently running the Gerbil Speed version 3 to power my uh, Makita router as effectively a spindle. Just pop my magnetic do that off. So yep, yeah, you can see that's hooked up there. And uh, just driving it via good old open builds because it's a really nice, easy to use, very friendly interface um, and works really well. But yeah, so this is what the version 3 looks like. As you can see, it's using an older uh, AT Mega style, um, I think, sorry, AT Tiny style microprocessor. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this has been working really well for me. No complaints whatsoever. A little bit of surface mount on, on the back there. <clears throat> but uh, John has kindly sent me the version 4 to test um, because I have a 240 volt uh, spindle or Makita router. And uh, as you can see, it looks quite different. Uh, on the bottom, you've got uh, a very different um, arrangement of, uh, of chips. And the processor on this is running at like 20 megahertz, um, which is quite a bit faster than the little AT Tiny, which is, um, I can't remember the exact number, but um, it's quite a bit slower than that. Uh, so this should actually improve performance. And, uh, and also it's, yeah, very compact, fits in exactly the same footprint as the old one. So anyone who wants to swap out for, for the better version, um, is gonna find that very easy to do. Uh, so yeah, this one's quite nice. I, I did actually have a list of the improvements, but I've gone and forgotten what they are. So yeah, anyway, in my case, uh, I'm able to run from 10,000 RPM to about 28,000 RPM. I think that might just be a quirk of the 240 volt uh, version. So yeah, let's, uh, let's dive in and do a quick test. So I'm gonna set it to uh, 10,000 RPM, just make sure everything's turned on, and it is. So yeah, you can hear that works quite well. Um, actually, that's one of the things that uh, John mentioned, the startup our sequence is is smoother now as well so you know we'll get to see that in a minute when we uh install the version 4 but uh you know if i want to go up to uh say 20,000 So yeah, as you can see, the um, version 3 works really, really well. So let's go and install version 4. Here's a quick peek into my electronics box. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty crowded at the moment, uh, but you can see the uh, Gerbil Speed version 3 in there. I'm just going to take that out and uh, replace that with version 2. Sorry, version 4, rather. <laughs> I'll get my, get my versions right. I actually am going to make a bigger electronics box uh, quite soon because I have a whole stack of uh, external um, stepper motor drivers that can actually drive my stepper motors to their correct um, power levels. The current drivers I'm using can maybe do one and a half amps at the most and, and my stepper motors are good for two and a half amps RMS so that'll, that'll be a nice upgrade. Okay let's go swap out the gerbil speed. Okay, I've now got the Gerbil 4, sorry, Gerbil Speed 4 board installed. And let's give it a test. Alright, we've got to 10,000 and then we'll just ramp it up from there.
Cool. So yeah, as you can see, the uh, new Gerbil Speed version 4 uh, works really, really well um, with the uh, 240 volt uh, Australian version of the uh, Makita 700 series. So I think ours is the 700 and I think the North American one is the 701, but uh, yeah, same thing except for I think there's like an extra filter cap in there. Hope that's helpful for you guys. And here's just a quick demo of the Gerbil version 4 in manual mode. So just uh, flip the switch. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little demo. Cheers.